Okay, welcome to my YouTube channel guys and thank you to all those subscribers and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. So, today we are going to look at um, the Avery 8293 Inkjet Matte White High Visibility Labels. These are great for many different uh, reasons and things, especially if you want to put product names on some of your homemade uh, items such as snacks and uh, any of crafts and so on. You could also use it to monogram uh, different types of things. I used it back in my uh, when we made our wedding favors. You can see here I made these stickers. Of course you can see the name here and inside of it you have our wedding favor there. And um, it's very simple to do if you follow my instructions, okay? There's many different ways you can do it, but we are gonna follow the way that Avery says to do it. But we're gonna print it out at home, okay? So follow along, and if you haven't already, check out my other video on the Avery uh, address labels. Today, like I said before, we're gonna be looking at the matte white high visibility labels, the 8293, these are 20 labels per sheet you use the Avery template 8293 okay and it's one and a half inch 400 labels per package it's the red package okay so I'm gonna show you everything um, from going to Avery and downloading the basic template and going from there so again first thing I'm gonna do like I said is go to avery.com and when I go to avery.com I'm going to go to templates I'm gonna to go to find template and I'm going to simply type in the number 8293 and it's gonna bring up the one and a half inch diameter stickers now what might you want to use these stickers for well like I said in the beginning of the video uh, you may want to create a monogram of something you may want to use them uh, for product labels uh, homemade products um, snacks I've seen it used for many different things um, and you can see some examples you know where they do use it here so this is the high visibility round labels and we can download a blank template all right we don't want them to do it all right we're not going to do it on their platform but we want to download a blank template so we can do Photoshop, Illustrator, PDF, Apple Pages, I don't use that. Today we're gonna to use Microsoft Word. That's pretty much what everybody has and uses. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and download the template. And there's gonna be several different ways you can do it. And I'll show you a couple different ways you can do it. Um, but ultimately, the way that I'm doing it in this video is what has worked for me. So. We're going to go ahead and open up our Avery High Visibility Round Labels in compatibility mode. And basically, what we need to do is ensure we're getting our sticker or image into each of these round circles. Okay? There's several ways to do it. The first I'm going to show you is as such. And I'm going to first show you how you could make one, if you'd like. How you can make a monogram. And I did this first uh, using Adobe. And I made uh, a monogram with letters and, and so on and so forth. And I saved it. And what I did is I went ahead and we'll show you what happens when you insert it into the label. And such. So how do you do it? I click on it here, I go to insert picture, and I choose the image. And I choose the image. And I choose the image. And you get the point. Um, you can make it bigger, smaller, uh, we can choose a smaller one, and it just doesn't look right. Okay? So you may have to fiddle with it uh, a little bit. Uh, but another way to do it is also by right clicking on it because we know that these templates are using objects and so 
we know we can change the border. We could also change what's in it in terms of what's filling it, color, and so on. So let's say that I want to fill this with an image. I'm going to right click on it, the outer border here, as such. I'm going to go to Format, Auto Shape Picture. I'm going to go to Fill Effects. Notice if I go Format, Auto Shape Picture, you can't choose it. I'm going to go to Fill, Fill Effects. I'm now going to go to the tab Picture. I'm going to go to Select Picture, Browse, and I'm going to choose that same picture. Insert, Insert, and you see it again. Now this is a little bit different. You're not going to be able to copy this into here because it's actually the entire object, um, the circle, with the actual image inside. However, with this, you can actually copy this and paste it as such. Okay? And then it's simple from there. You're basically going to take your matte white high visibility labels, put it in the printer, and print it out. And you're on your way. And you're on your way to having a very nice matte sticker which looks professional and is a fraction of the price because you can do it at home on your own time. So let's talk about this again from the beginning. We've downloaded the Avery 8293 template and we want to put in and print out 20 labels. What are you going to put inside these labels? What do you want on labels? Well, that's up to you. You can put whatever you want, whatever your product is, your service, whatever you're trying to show or display. In my case, I did it for my wedding and so on. Um, so if you want to make them colors, you can do colors and that's easy. Uh, if you want to just insert an image, that's easy. We showed you. Let's say I want to try and do my own. So. I want to create an image to put inside of that sticker. I'm going to go to insert and I'm in PowerPoint right now and I'm going to go to shapes, circles, and I'm going to draw just a circle as such. I'm going to select here to manipulate the height and the width to make sure it's a perfectly round circle. And I'm going to do 1.2. No reason why, but I think it's going to fit well. All right. Within PowerPoint, I'm now going to change the coloring inside the object and the border color. So I'm going to go to Shape Fill. I'm going to choose Picture from a file. And let's pick something that we haven't picked yet. And you can see that. Now I'm going to remove the actual outline and go to No Outline. All right, now I'm going to save this as a picture and I'll call it, say, picture mono as a PNG actually. And we're going to do that. Now I'm going to go back to the Avery template. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to insert picture. And remember what we saved it as picture mono. And I insert it. And you can see it takes up most of the space here. If I altered it, make it a little bit bigger, let's see what happens. 1.4, 1.4. So it takes some playing with. I'll save this. I'll save it again. I'll save it as a picture mono. I'll rewrite it, all right? And then I'm gonna go back here, delete. I'm gonna insert picture, picture mono and it takes up more of a space here. And with this, we can copy, okay, we can paste. And you can go ahead, file, print, and you can see the print preview. Now, what if you just wanted to put the monogram we made? Well, we can do the same thing. We can right click on this object, all right? We go to format picture, go to the fill and line, go to fill, picture 
insert. I'm gonna choose to put in monogram two. Okay, I'm now going to right click, save as, I'm gonna call it monogram three. I'm gonna go back to here. I'm gonna select one of the stickers, insert, picture, monogram three, and it's inserted. That is how to create and make the high visibility labels um, Avery 8293. If you have any questions or concerns, please comment, let me know, and uh, we'll get back to you. Please subscribe and share.